Good morning. My name is Lydia Ford, and today I have the pleasure of introducing Kate Wolfkill. About a month ago in my AP Spanish class, someone asked, has anyone ever seen Kate Wolfkill wearing two matching socks? <laughs> After agreeing with the rest of my classmates that no, we had in fact never seen such a sight, I realized that just like her socks, Kate is one of a kind. More than being an avid mock trialer, dedicated tattler editor, YIG officer, and music lover, Kate is the St. Mary's Maze writing competition queen, <laughs> with an astounding six wins in the nine years she's been at St. Mary's. I've been lucky enough to know Kate for my whole life, and whether a GSL Luker, Grimwood Dragon, Idlewilder, or St. Mary's Turkey, I know I can count on Kate's unri unrivaled sense of humor and genuine kindness. Like her stylish footwear, Kate truly is one of a kind, and we are so lucky to have her as a member of our senior class. So, take a deep breath, give a classic Kate sigh, and put your hands together for a senior speech worthy of the maze riding competition, pinned by the Birkenstocks and mismatched socks wearing the one and only Katherine Elizabeth Wolfkill. I love salads. All salads. Caesar salad, fruit salad, pasta salad, potato salad, candy salad, the list goes on. And all this time I've spent as a salad connoisseur has led me to develop one very strange salad habit. When applicable, I save my croutons for last. While leafy greens, dressing, and cheese are absolutely fantastic, it's just something about those crunchy, garlicky croutons that implores me to enjoy them separately later. So as I make my way through romaine or spinach, I save a little corner of my bowl for my stash of croutons, and I rush through the greens in order to get to those croutons. I've noticed, unfortunately, that this crouton syndrome of mine, this hurry past something perfectly delicious in order to reach something that seems better, does not only apply to salads and croutons. I tend to rush through things, thinking that if I could just get to that next thing, everything will be even better. If I can just get through middle school, then high school will be so awesome. If I can study another hour, then I can relax. If I can just make it through college apps, then I can make my perfect college decision, have a million comments on my announcement posts, and be happy forever. But it never works like that. Not only do I miss out on the journey, the destination is never as illustrious as I imagined. I hurry through aged Parmesan and salty Caesar dressing, only to discover that the croutons are never as satisfying as I think they will be. And that's because they belong with the salad. Enjoyment belongs on the journey, not just at the destination. Instead of spending middle school reindeer rockouts dreaming about high school homecomings and proms, I wish I had just danced. Instead of reading the AP World History textbook or making phoner terms until the wee hours of the morning in order to ace some assessment, I wish I had just gone to sleep. And so do my parents, I'm sure. <laughs> Essentially, what I'm trying to say is this. Don't let your expectations for the future get in the way of right now. Don't put off enjoyment. Enjoy learning about something really interesting without worrying how on earth you'll ever write a term paper about it. Enjoy laughing with your friends in the junior parking lot without worrying about all the homework you have yet to finish. Enjoy senior speeches without worrying about what your own might sound like. Everything will work out. And I know from personal experience that this is easier said than done. But what I also know from personal experience is that life is meant to be savored and not rushed through. To my radiant class of 2025, Y'all remind me every day to forget about the future for a little while and just enjoy what we have together in this place. The future will come no matter what, and I hope we can take a break from the rush towards it and just enjoy the now. And to my family, both blood and chosen, thank you for being the romaine, the parm, the dressing, and the croutons that make my life worth savoring. I'm sorry for all the times I might have hurried past y'all towards something I thought was bigger and better. Turns out that y'all were the biggest and the best all along, and you're the reason I love the journey. 
And now that I'm here, looking at the rapidly approaching end of this wonderful, familiar salad, I finally learned not to rush through the romaine and not to save my croutons for last, because they deserve to be savored together. Thank you.